today's video we're going to be juicing um, a couple recipes I bought a new Nama J2 juicer I'm telling you life-changing life-changing that juicer listen that is one investment I'm glad that I made and I'm going to get more into that later but let me just say this initially I had all of these like um hyperpigmentation marks on my face those are like really really fading and um my just overall acne is really clearing my acne wasn't horrible but my skin wasn't where I would like it to have been especially since um, how closely I work with my dermatologist on my skin but the beet juice the beet juice the beet juice has been helping me okay tremendously and not just from the outer standpoint I just feel more energized it's just a whole thing it's a whole thing it's a whole thing but like I said around just over time we'll just discuss more about it okay and so oh so first we're going to put on some beans because I'm going to try my hand at making homemade black bean burgers from scratch I'm even cooking the beans you know from scratch not from a can and so I'm not going to do the bean burgers today. I'm going to do the bean burgers on another video, but I'm just preparing it to today. But we're going to juice today. So I missed you guys. I missed you guys. I genuinely did. It's just every time. We'll talk about it later. We'll talk about it later. Okay, my kitchen is a mess. We're going to be cleaning up our my kitchen today too, but such is life. Nothing's perfect. So, I just emptied the black beans into my pot here. Night, please stop it. And I'm going to um, I roasted some veggies. If you can see, I have bay leaves, thyme, um, what do you call it? red pepper yellow pepper red onion celery and plenty of garlic and i'm going to pour some water into this and with some additional seasoning and blend it up into my vitamix and that's going to be the stock for my beans so instead of using like a chicken stock i've just created my own vegetable stock so we'll see that in one second Okay, you guys, I got hungry, so I decided to make me a protein smoothie in my Vitamix A3500. I spoke about this um, machine before, but if you are new to my channel, this is an investment that's worth that's worth investing in. <laughs> so um, you can check out prior videos or just look up the A3500. I will link it in my description box. So y'all, those black beans are like literally done already. I haven't even finished cleaning up the kitchen. I said that's so clutch because I can let those cool before I put that those in the downstairs fridge and um, love that for me and um, like I said I've never made black beans before if anybody who watches this video um, um, is plant-based more so just um, really plant-based um, let me know how you bind your bean burgers. I saw this one recipe um, and it used, uh, what they use? Doo -doo -doo -doo. It was two things that I was interested in. Flax seeds and arrowroot. I have flax seeds and I have arrowroot. So, hold on. So, these are how the black beans look. 
and of course they're just black <laughs> and they have a little sauce at the bottom which is great because I don't want them swimming in any type of fluid because half of them are going to be mashed the other half are going to be kept whole for my actual you know bean burgers all of it is for the bean burgers but what I mean is you'll see you'll see you mash some and you keep some whole for texture so this is probably going to end up being like a two-day video like because it's already late and I don't know if I feel like juicing I think I want to wake up and do it you know a little fresher when I'm more alert so stay tuned on that but we're gonna get it done we're gonna get it done but um what was I going to say it was something that I felt worth saying this is why I'm not juicing tonight because I can tell I'm getting tired but what was I gonna say oh so yeah I want to just get my kitchen really clean tonight and I want to um put some salmon in the oven so I order normally the wild caught salmon from Sam's Club right and Nike keep making all these noises because he hasn't had a piece of salmon today and he's upset so he keeps doing all of this sighing and making all this noise because he wants me to hurry up but back to what I was saying I got some salmon from Sam's Club the salmon was supposed to be the frozen because I just do better with flash frozen salmon if you suffer from allergies that's a tip if you get the salmon frozen you don't have to worry about it being possibly it lessens the probability of a cross contamination because it's not being handled possibly with other seafood because it stays frozen so normally I get the frozen um, salmon and they gave me the fresh salmon the thing about that is i'm not necessarily eating meat every day like today after i worked out i had beans and a huge salad drunk water i think i had some nuts and raisins for a snack and then you just saw me have a protein shake and then I was some spinach and you know you saw what I just did and then I had um, something else oh some fruit and that would be you know what I would eat for today like I'm I'm good and it is 7:46 p.m. so I did have my you know last meal a little late which was 747 which is the protein shake I just had but anyways nothing's perfect but um I'm getting off subject but I'm getting back on more of the story of me saying that is they gave me this huge piece of salmon and I'm like I can't refreeze it and I'm not going to eat a whole large salmon from Sam's Club in a matter of a few days so I'm planning to cook the salmon and freeze me a couple pieces and then night can eat off of the rest of the salmon for the remainder of the week all right so the salmon that I got from Sam's Club that I spoke about earlier this is for night this is for night these two are for me I just put thyme um, lemon and bay leaves on it and a little seasoning and I'm just gonna let it cool for a minute and freeze it so this is like a quick meal prep and it's just easy you just put whatever seasoning fresh thyme basil whatever seasoning you prefer pop it in the oven for 20 25 minutes on 375 and you're all set all right i guess why i'm tired is because i don't really give myself the allowance that I need or just the credit of everything I do throughout the day. If you hear that noise, that's nice playing with your ball per usual. You have to go out of here please. No, mom can't play right now. So I really don't give myself the credit that is deserved of what I do in the day. So 
first we want to start off with rinsing off these apples, draining those. No, that's not the mac. I'm just going to start out with a basic juice of uh, pineapple, apple, pineapple, apple, and orange. And then I'll progress to the beet juice with the carrots and beets, carrots, and apple. So those are the two juices that we'll be doing today. I don't have everything to do my green juice today, but we'll get into that tomorrow because it's um, vlog is really going to be a little bit more than I thought because everything is not here as far as my ingredients that I need. So what made me start juicing? Um, I got interested in juicing when I saw the Nama J2 juicer on Instagram. And I can't remember the account in particular, but um, she talked about the benefits of getting vitamins and minerals um, more so into the bloodstream at a, at a more, at a faster rate um, versus um, doing smoothies I do both but overall I do see an actual improvement in my skin tremendously since I began juicing and the benefits of juicing are weight loss improved digestion energy and vitamin and minerals two areas in particular that I was concerned about for myself was improved digestion and energy and of course my overall skin and I am seeing improvements in these areas and so I'm definitely glad that I made the investment and got this juicer so I am um, actually peeling these navel oranges I believe it's spelled n-a-v-e-l Kroger had a good sale on them. It's really difficult for me to find oranges with seeds. Some can sometimes I can, sometimes I can't. But um, nevertheless, I got a great deal on these oranges, and so I grabbed them. And um, juicing is time consuming very time consuming and when I say that it's an easy process but the preparation is time consuming and I just made a commitment to myself because sometimes as women we can invest in our hair our nails our clothes our shoes and just overall outer appearance as far as the physical aspect is concerned but we also want to invest in ourselves as far as our health is concerned. Mental health and physical health is very, very important. If you can do anything to elevate your physical and mental health, do it. Because that's when I actually feel the best, the most confident. And sometimes we don't know where to start, but little changes, little changes such as implementing you know a salad in your day every single day implementing green vegetables and you might say well I eat green vegetables implementing more water soluble vegetables like just overall into our diet whatever we can do to actually make ourselves feel better as far as our health is concerned adding green um, leafy vegetables fruits nuts and seeds to our diet will benefit us it will not harm us and so just overall investing in ourselves and that's what I've been doing for myself I've been really investing in myself because no one is going to take care of you like you can take care of you and so whatever little changes we can make do it and um sometimes we might say oh 
Will I write in my journal? I do this for self-care. Food, diet is also part of self-care. Um, I can't stress that enough. And I actually wish I would have started um, this journey a lot sooner. Y'all, I pulled out that pineapple. I'm not even juicing the pineapple. This week is going to be the week of orange juice, orange apple juice, and then our green juices. I literally need some more juicing containers. I'll have to order some. So, I'm just cleaning out the sink before I start dealing with the messy beets. The beets are what I love to dislike. They're so good for you, but they're so messy, I promise you. So I spoke about beet juice and some of the great benefits, and I just wanted to briefly go over some of the benefits, which includes assistance in lowering blood pressure. And of course, a healthier diet would benefit that as well. It also could aid in maintaining a healthy weight, has plenty of potassium and other great mineral resources. And I'm too about to get into the benefits as it pertains to the skin, because as I stated before, um, beet juice has really assisted me with my skin and I feel that um, it definitely gave me a glow because beet juice helps to purify your blood eliminate eliminating toxins it also hydrates your skin and beet juice also helps with um, a healthy head of hair So I spoke about the ABC juice. Let's talk about some of the great benefits of consuming ABC juice, which is the apples, beets, and carrots. It boosts, boosts your overall health, revitalizes your skin, strengthens your hair, supports digestion, eliminates bad breath, detoxifies vital organs alleviate menstrual discomfort as a woman who currently has a menstrual cycle i've noticed a tremendous decrease in my overall cramping it is literally none i know it's not just the beets it's my overall just diet of consuming a lot of green leafy vegetables i've eliminated pretty much all um, synthetic sugars from my diet. Most of how I receive my sugars is from um, fruits and vegetables. Like, you know, carrots have a little sugar in there, I'm sure. But I don't consume any um, adulterated sugars. And I noticed too, that's definitely helping with menstrual cramps, overall skin appearance, and just my health in general. And so at times, it's not the easiest to stay away from these types of um, foods and products, but it's been a struggle I've been um, really tackling and I've been winning because I want to look better and I want to feel better. Um, all 2024, I'm elevating my gut health. That's what I'm doing. 
and I want to bring you guys along um, on the journey. And maybe you guys too are struggling with some of the of the same things that I am and I can be of assistance and we can encourage one another because, you know, one thing about food um it can it can kind of you know be like a, a sticky situation one day you're doing good the next day you're not but this has been my life ever since probably um the beginning of november and i really love it here and you know that's really where i am in life So this is the Nama J2 juicer. I love this juicer. Um, this on this side, you'll see the juice coming out. On this side, this is where the fibrous um, um, part of the fruit comes out. On this side, or veggies, whatever you're juicing. And so this side will be like a thick substance. This side will be very thin and it's like juice, just regular juice that you would um, purchase. And so we're going to get going.
all right I'm going to stop it because as you can see the juice is filled pretty high and I don't want it to overflow so I'm just going to throw this in with this one apple you're actually supposed to put the hard stuff on the bottom you guys that cold pressed orange juice that, that I just made was so delectable it's so good if you've ever had cold pressed juice even if you go to like a little shop that cold pressed juice it's a stark difference between buying any type of juice from the grocery store and actually juicing the product yourself it is so good um the thing is you only with the nama j2 juicer they recommend that you only keep the juice in the refrigerator for up to three days in a airtight container and so you can juice like i juice like twice a week or sometimes i juice and place a few in the freezer i really try not to freeze a lot of juice because it just lose some of the nutritional value but hey you have to do what you have to do i have before and it tasted okay but i definitely like the fresh fresh pressed taste but um i would rather get some benefits than none at all and so i have um frozen a few things especially my morning concoction of um cucumber celery and ginger here you see how um, red this beet juice is and um, it's actually coming out. This is the ABC juice and um, it's it's really, really good and it's very healthy. I want to say that if you do begin juicing, you do have to be careful about the sugar, the natural sugar of the juices. I don't consume, I consume probably about a half a cup of each juice that I make per day and I've alleviated all other sugars and so even though someone might say oh you know juicing has a high sugar content not if you're not including other sugars I'm not I'm not making anything out of a box I'm not consuming any other type of um, synthetic sugars and so I'm getting my sugar naturally as we should get our sugars and so that way I won't have to worry about you know um, other health sh um, other health issues arising from me juicing um, I juice more so for a health benefit more so than just consuming juice all day um, my day does consume of me drinking a lot of H2O water and so I do have um, a lot of water and I do I have implemented even um, 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 natural um, spring water bottled at the source like the Avion and the Fiji and I can't think of what I think it's called the geyser water a water bottled at the source um, meaning that it's actually bottled where the water is actually produced um, because the spring water does have vitamins and minerals but I don't want to get all off into that that's like for another video but just making slight changes where I can the biggest change is me working on my diet continuously I definitely want to get into the Bing burgers that I made um you will see that in an upcoming video of me um, actually making bean burgers from scratch and just being overall nervous because you're doing something new and especially when you don't necessarily know how they're supposed to taste but stay tuned and I will just like to say I'm proud of myself for trying and that's the thing you don't know what you can do until you try so something that can be so daunting and seem to be like this huge task can turn out to be something really great for you and once again 2024 is me showing up for me and showing up for my health and i encourage all the ladies out there whether you're younger or older invest in your health you know beauty starts from within what you put in your body 
matters of course you you might say well i had something bad yesterday or you know i didn't do the greatest on you know what i was eating yesterday that's yesterday today is a whole new day um I do want to start to utilize some of the fibrous content that's coming out of this Nama J2 juicer and, you know, recycling it or repurposing it some type of way. But first, I'm just trying to get myself on a pattern um, uh, of just the healthier, the healthier lifestyle. I'm trying to survive right now. And when I say that, when you're starting a new regimen, you are constantly working, working, working to the point where you feel like, oh, is it worth it? You know, it's worth it because you see the results, but it's just so time consuming. You guys, I know I have been absent from YouTube. Um, I have been working on me, as you can see. Um, please like, share, and subscribe and comment. Let me know if you have made adjustments or want to make adjustments in your lifestyle and your diet or implement new things. Um, let me know if you're familiar with the Nama J2 juicer. I also will be linking this juicer. It's absolutely phenomenal. One of the best investments I made. And um, also like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. And um, you can also follow me on YouTube and I'm sorry, on Facebook and Insta. I'm actually not as active on those platforms right now. I'm really uh, focusing on my YouTube, creating great content and connecting um, with my YouTube subscribers. Um, just overall, that's where I'm at. I will return to Insta full force when I feel that I have done everything I needed to do and I really have my YouTube channel um, thriving like it should. Right now, the energy that I have, I want to focus it on my YouTube community. All right, you guys, if you made it to the end of my video, thank you so much for watching. Look at that juice. Boom, that girl did that. <laughs> All right, you guys, bye.